All right, about five years ago, I put up these videos delacquering a trumpet and delacquering a saxophone. And I'm not a saxophone player. I'm not a trumpet player. I just had some old horns lying around. I thought, hey, this would be really fun to try. So I looked up the process and found a few things. I didn't see a lot of videos out there, but I loved watching the videos I could find. I videotaped the process. It was on a really crappy little camcorder. I just threw it up on the internet and I put it on a, a YouTube account and I honestly didn't check that YouTube account for like three years. And then I came back, these videos were up to like 30,000 views, 20,000 views. And there was all these comments from people just at me that I wasn't explaining what the process was. So I wanted to go through the process because there's some people who are really upset that I didn't explain what I was doing. Even though I, I didn't say I was it was an explanation video or a how-to video. But you know what? The customer's always right. Am I right? That's a lie. First thing you have to do, take the instrument apart. If it's a woodwind instrument, you have to take all the keys apart. So I chose not to, but if you want to delacquer the keys, you have to take the pads off because you're going to ruin your pads if you put them in the solution. Then you need a container that is going to be able to fit this instrument. I used about eight gallons of distilled vinegar. No, it was not paint thinner. Sorry, but no, vinegar doesn't really burn your skin. So yeah, shorts, uh, totally fine, actually. So the process is you submerge your instrument for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you take it out of the vinegar, you throw it in a scalding hot bath for 45 minutes, and then you take a rag and you wipe down the instrument. Every day it gets a little bit better, you'll see more results, but as you wipe the instrument off, you'll have like chunks of what seems like plastic, but that's actually the lacquer coming off like flakes of skin. That was disgusting, sorry about that. You repeat this process for about a week and a half. With my alto saxophone, I followed this to a T. I did it every single day and it worked really well. I think it's got a really good look. And that really also depends on what it looks like underneath the lacquer. But it looked really great. Uh, it worked out really well. There are some people asking about a coating. I actually didn't put any sort of coating on it. But if you want to put a clear lacquer coating, do, do not, not go, go to the, the hardware, hardware store, store and buy lacquer. That is not going to work. It's going to cause problems. It's going to stick to your pads or it's going to you know, mess with your valves and stuff like that. You need to make sure you get a professional grade lacquer for this specific thing. Some people asked if they could just take it to their music store and have them do it. No, because most music stores don't have the right setup. There's a lot of regulations to chemically take off lacquer. I use distilled vinegar, but they're going to do it a lot quicker with chemical. They're not going to spend the time to do it for one or two horns a year at that. They typically do have clear coat lacquer when they put like a new joint on a trombone. You can just spray a quick coat on there to make sure that no moisture is getting into the seams. Most music stores should know who to send it to. It can go through them and have it sent to the right people. It will cost you some money, way more than doing it yourself. 2017 or so, there was a guy who got a trumpet gold-plated, so it had to be de-lacquered and then gold-plated, and I think for his trumpet to do that, it was $900 at the time. Probably gone up since then. The trumpet, I actually just left in the vinegar for about a week, and then pulled it out, scrubbed it off. It's still pretty good result on that. That trumpet was on honestly is so old and junky, it's really difficult to play on. Thanks for noticing my tone, I appreciate that. But it's a really cool way if you have an old horn sitting around or just want that look, you just have to have a little patience. So ever since I did that video, I've done a lot of instructional videos, DIY things for music educators. I hope I saved the day by making an explanation video for you. Thank you guys, have a good one, bye.